That is a big fish. It looks such it looks just like an eel. And that's the type of creatures patrolling Florida waterways. Iguanas and giant snakefish. If you know where this is at, let me know and I'll heart your comment. Hold on, let me try to free this iguana. I don't want to spook the other one. It's right there. Special shout outs to FX Air Guns and Paramount Air. <sighs> Oh my God. Hyper orange. Oh. Oh. Ooh. The finesse. The finesse. <laughs> my goodness. Oh my gosh. Definitely six foot. that wind mixed with that cold air is, is what's going to cause iguanas to fall out of trees simple as that stay tuned where that? no that rock right there oh it does wow <laughs> you just never know what you're going to see in nature I have the legendary skull rock if you know where this is at let me know and I'll heart your comment. And then we also have another white duck. You seen white ducks like that before? Never. I'm always just some black ducks. We've been on this canal for about 30 minutes and we've seen two of them. Oh yeah, most definitely. Find that Breton home. This Bruh. little canal. That's all they need. All right. Hold on. The poor guy. I don't think he made it, DJ. Nah. You want to check on him? Yeah. Wakey, wakey. Nah, he didn't make it. Did he sustain a catastrophic head injury? Oh yeah, most definitely. Viewer discretion is advised. This is for scientific and educational purposes. It fell straight on his face and just busted his face. Yeah. That's true too, right? Yeah. It's like he got a pellet wound, but at the same time falling from a tree that high, directly on your face, and you're stiff, uh, you're pretty cold, probably gonna result in a catastrophic injury of some sorts the bag they could have uh bros fell down and now they're they got back on their perch we know there are giants out here as well we got a bag just in case we bag them oh i see him he's huge he's gonna try to make a move Oh shoot. I had to, I had to grab this guy quick, man. Literally trying to go in one of these holes. See that terror tree down there? Yeah. The cracks, the fissures, the crevices in the earth. Most of them, the smart ones, at least, will go underground once temperatures get super cold. This guy probably just came out of his burrow. Winter time is a breeding time here in Florida. Some people say that iguanas might have multiple breeding seasons. Now, I'm not an expert on iguana breeding. I just see what I see. 
But if you know more information about the breeding cycle and the physiology and biology of these iguanas, drop some comments and let me know. Is there more than one breeding season? And how much do they depend on their holes for survival? In a bag. Okay. DJ did spot another one in the tree. I'm gonna see if I can get some type of angle on him and see if I have enough length with this pole to reach him. And man, he's gonna be out of reach. This one might be frozen. Oh shoot. Oh, there's another one right there. Oh my goodness. We need to land this one quick. There's another one. Oh my gosh, there's like five giants right here, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Careful, careful, careful. Dang. I really messed up right here. Oh my gosh, guys. Hold on, let me try to free this iguana. I don't want to spook the other one. It's right there. He popped off. I should have never let him go in the water. The silly iguana man. man. Oh, hey, we got the big one. Our pole broke. Let's go change the snare. We will be back out here. This place is loaded. They're all over here. Man. Really? Look, 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 this one came back. This one's coming back, dude. There's two of there's two big ones in this tree. Yeah. See what happened right here. No excuses, but you know, I got cut off on the rock. Hey, let's go, uh, let's get our snare ready and come back here. Let's do it. Unfortunately, these trees are right next to the water. And iguanas, they love to bask and perch in trees that are right above water. Like, they're on the water side, so if they ever feel afraid, they just dive right in. I'm still feeling optimistic, though. Ho, ho, ho. I she, see one. You see one where? Yeah. She's right here. Where? Bring it down. Did not even see that guy. Let me see if I can get him. Right here, this has this has stones in it. Frozen stiff, buddy. Frozen solid. Instinctively, he wants to fight back. Oh shoot, whoa, he's even going for my, 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 oh, whoa. It's the small ones you gotta worry about. Ow. Especially a young dragon like this. Let's go ahead and put this guy in the bag.
Keep your eyes peeled, young goanna hunter. We are in prime goanna territory. And watch out for frozen iguanas too, buddy. They could fall out of these trees. They fall out at any time. Yeah. We already know they're dropping like flies in this cold weather. Oh yeah. That's that alpha. It's in the sun, so that means he's probably warmed up. Right, he's cool. There's only one way to find out. We gotta get that catch ball on him. Oh yeah, let's do it. Maybe we can sneak right behind the bush right there and bag him. Yeah, because he won't see us coming. That he won't. Let's do it. That he won't. Let's do what? Breeding iguanas right now. Are completely fallen out, frozen. And then some of them are active and some of them are really active. Look at this one. This one looks really active. Pursuing that female. I think he's mad that we just... I wonder if he's fast. He's alert, he's alert, he's alert. Uh, that mean we gotta bust out catch ball? Yeah, we, do, we might have to bag that one. This is like a mixed hunt. We're collecting frozen ones and we are snaring live ones. It's kind of the best of both worlds. Right now, with these catch poles, Oh, he's, nah, he's, he's gone now. We got, we got one on the floor, though. Hold on. He's gone. We got one that's all right. didn't want to happen. Him going into the water. Oh Makes sense while that other iguana right there was getting super alpha with that female. There was another suitor competition trying to steal his tree and steal his girl. There goes that iguana right there. He's kind of happy that I got him. Just took his competition out. Look at that. Snakehead. This is the same exact spot. You can see the... Oh, the dust getting kicked up. Same exact spot where this iguana was thrashing around. And look, it alerted a top predator. Big snakehead. It, you know, and we see this a lot. There's no way it's a coincidence. Look at him. There's no way. That is a big fish. It looks, such, it looks just like an eel. And that's the type of creatures patrolling. Florida waterways, iguanas, and giant snakefish. Guys, we might be going for the biggest iguana of the day. DJ just spotted him. He's out there basking. He might be frozen. He might be live action. 
We're going to find out, though. Sorry about that, I had to go in super stealth mode. Any kind of noise or any kind of distraction, this guy would have been a goner. I think we caught him right in time. In a couple of minutes, he would have been gone and probably never to be seen again. In the bag. You could be hanging out for one minute and the next minute could be in a dangerous situation. That's gonna go ahead and wrap up today's removal. As you've seen what happened, we went out, we did see some frozen ones, but as the day progressed, we realized that a lot of them are starting to warm up and even some of them are even back uh, being breeding active. Tonight's gonna get even colder and we have this cold spell for the next two or three days. We're gonna be hitting all of our jobs and seeing how many iguanas we can put in the bag. It's your friend Roger the Iguana Man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you on the next video.